Sangha Sambhida Om Shanti Peace to you Peace to me Hello and my name is Peter Today I would like to talk about doing something that your future self will thank you for Just think about it for a minute What will your future self thank you for for what you're doing right now? Right now Me, I'm making a video you, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? And what's the next few moments that are going to be coming up that your future self is going to look back and go, oh, I started that then. I was moving forward to this position right now. So it's a very in important concept to try and get your head a a around. Try to actually focus on where do you want to be and then think about the gratitude that you will feel for your actions that you take right here right now in this moment many of us many of us and me guilty of it too obviously many of us all of us i would imagine procrastinated or have procrastinated at some point in our life we go oh, too busy too busy how many times have you heard that today? i'm too busy i can't possibly fit that in now too busy and busy going where and doing what exactly what are you busy doing what's so important that's stopping you creating what you want to create as a human being what's stopping you too busy it seemed to be very trendy when i was growing up that everybody suddenly became oh, very busy you gotta look at we all had filofaxes faxes at that point not our phones we were saying well i'll see if i can fit you in you know i'm really busy that's fine if you feel that somebody's not going to give you any growth to your your soul your spirit your energy your you becoming the best version of yourself but find, find the time for you, for yourself, so that in the future you can look back and thank yourself. I am most grateful, Peter, for what you did. So for instance, I can give you an example of that, is creating a new habit or a new ritual that I've, I've actually started doing since becoming a darn master for body and brain, which I did last March. So it's nearly been a year now and every morning, weekday mornings especially not always weekends because there's I need some downtime for myself but I do like a ritual a habit where I'm doing bowing training and I do uh, Shambu uh, Shambu Chin Gong like a, a Qigong routine I do push-up sit-ups uh, stretching and opening up my hips my hips are coming a lot more flexible I'm trying to create a better nerve supply to my body so that I sensitize my body. So I have been seeing a chiropractor as well. Um, my hips were a little bit out of joint and I, did, I started this all about a year ago. And my goodness, am I thanking myself right now, right here, right now, for taking on all of that, which I thought was a complete chore. And before I started doing it, there's no way, no way I'm gonna do that, no way. But now, after doing that, my body feels lighter, I feel healthier, I feel younger, I feel very, very strong, very, very positive about the future, even though it looks like the world's crumbling, I, I'm starting to get a deeper perception and deeper insight into it. My visions become clearer about what I can do personally and what we can do as a species to pull us out of this position that we're in. It's really important to keep pushing forward Keep pushing forward and making yourself the best human being you possibly can be. So it's really looking back at yourself, looking back at yourself and being grateful for what you did back then, which would be right here now if you're doing it for your future self. So you keep creating or doing things that you want to do. Say if you're a musician and you want to learn those really difficult licks and chops start now just start try doing it every day five minutes five minutes a day ten minutes a day whatever just keep doing it keep pushing yourself forward to that position and then all that practice all that work that you've done will pay off will start to pay off and then your future self will look back and go wow look at me now look what I've achieved from that work so from moment to moment you're building up into that position i did much the same as a bass player when i decided 
I'm going to be a professional musician. So for about a year, I practiced every day without fail, going up and down the arpeggios, going up and down the scales, learning the tapping, the slapping, the finger techniques, the plectrum techniques, all the techniques that you could have on the bass, how to mute it, all sorts of funky stuff going on, get effects for it. And I went to bass college, I was taught by Robbie Burns. And then when I became a musician, my goodness, was I grateful for that choice? Was I grateful for that choice? My goodness, was it? Was I? Yes. Yes, it took me to some amazing places. Not only just for gigging in front of thousands of people, it took me to my dreams. I wanted to be in front of thousands of people. I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be part of a band. I wanted to make music that helped people, inspired people, entertained people, that made them happy. And it was me thanking my, my past self. So it was my future self that I was working for. But at that point, I didn't really understand that concept. I just thought, well, I've got to do this. But when you take it with that concept in mind that I want my future self to be thanking me for the work that I put in now, it really changes it. It makes me think, well, I'm moving myself forward. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting better. I'm doing more, doing more. So make this moment, and then this moment, and then this moment, moment, moments just keep moving on. But it is only this moment. So you've got to make the right choice in this moment. So you make the right choice to say, right, I'm going to move to this, and then to this, and then to this. And then you make the plan for your future self. And your future self will look back at your past self and go, whoa, thank you very much for doing that. So what do you, what do you aspire to be? You, you, everybody's talking about clarifying what visions you have for yourself and what visions do you have for yourself because once you start to sharpen your vision to where you want to go you can start building steps towards it one by one little by little just imagine if you were an amazing musician and you just suddenly became an amazing musician there's no journey there's no learning process there's no experience and then when the knocks and the hard times come it hits you that much harder because you haven't gone up and down the M1 in a van trying to perform to people who aren't really interested because that really toughens you up or you just walk into a job where everything's easy. Surely that would create boredom. It becomes too simple. If you're looking just for adoration, that's very short as well. That'll only go by in the blink of an eye, adoration. You do it for yourself, what your true calling is, really trying to find your true self. So it's finding things to be grateful to your, your past self. So doing it now, right in this moment. Habits, it's breaking the habits. I've got a video on here about breaking your old habits that keep you locked back in your self, in your, in your actions. You just go round and round and round like a record player same thing happens every time surely fresh experiences new experiences new horizons new things for you to go for anything anything just keep working towards it it's like some people want to learn with writing with the other hand so use your other hand so it helps to balance the brain i actually shave with both hands so both hands become more balanced and now we do exercises where you balance your brain you, you clasp your fingers like this it's easy to rotate your wrist but then you move your index finger just above it and then it should be just as easy it is for me now but when I first did that it was like oh that feels really awkward and hard but it's breaking the habit of your hand because you have a naturally dominant hand breaking that habit of the other hand being just as well used so you're breaking that habit, you're breaking your brain, you're, you're re, re establishing neural pathways and actually strengthening some of them to come back into being the best human being that you possibly can. So start today, start today. Honestly, you will really feel a lot better for doing it and you will be saying, thank you so much, past self, for having the diligence, the strength and the tenacity to move me past this and get me into where I am today and you'll be giving it a big thumbs up so do it do something today that your future self will be grateful for I hope you enjoyed this video if you if you do like and subscribe 
and then I'll see you in the next video. Of course I will. Sarang Hamnidah.